Well, welcome to this product uh, demonstration video where we're just going to talk a little about the interpretation of drug testing results and the difference between a positive and a negative drug test result. Now what we've got in front of you here showing is two uh, sample cassettes, one of which shows a positive result and one of which shows a negative. And we're just going to try and focus in now on the results windows. There we go. Now, what you will see here is that uh, both of the tests show control lines. Now it is important that every test membrane shows a clear control line to demonstrate that sufficient urine has been added to the test to run the uh, complete test sufficiently and a control must always show. If no control shows, the test is invalid and either must be repeated or replaced. Now, the results interpretation is given by the presence or absence of the test line, indicated on this test cassette by the T. You'll see that the test cassette on the right shows a faint T line. In comparison to the control line, the colour density, thickness and saturation are pretty similar. This needn't be the case. The control line or the test line will vary considerably between samples and different test membranes. Any test line, no matter how thin or faint, in the presence of a control line at the specific read time must be interpreted as a negative result. Even if the control is very dark and thick and the test very thin, even if the test line doesn't run completely across the width of the test window, that would still interpret as a negative result. Compare this to the results window showing on the cassette on the left and you'll see a control line showing with the complete absence of a test line at the 5 to 10 minute read time. This is a, neg sorry, a positive result. This indicates that the drug is present at or above the sensitivity for the test that's been run and has completely blocked the absorption of dye at the test area. These are negative binding technology tests where the drug, if it's present, will bind all the antigen material that's embedded into the test line, blocking the uh, binding of any of the dye. So positive results are indicated by the absence of lines as opposed to the presence of test lines. So that is a clear negative result. Some people will look at these and they will try to interpret very, very thin or faint what are called ghost lines. Our advice is always to interpret the presence of any test line, even if it's considered a ghost or a faint line, as a negative result. If there is doubt, repeat the test using a fresh sample. So that, I hope, has given you some clear guidance in terms of how to interpret the development of control and test lines in both urine and saliva near patient or instant drug tests.